Uh, Brutal here at the Tree Point, Louisiana Regional, hosted by Still Fox and Games. My goodness. With Will, please introduce yourself to the world, man. Uh, my name is Christopher Scales. Um, I got third place with Dinos, you know. Hold up, Dinos? You already know what it is out here. Dang. What makes you decide to play this deck, man? Uh, honestly, I've always loved Dinosaur. It's honestly my first competitive deck to really play at big events. And with the new support coming out, you know, I got to represent. You know, I got to represent the sleeves, too. God, um, yes. So, any shout outs before we begin? Uh, I do want to give a big shout out to my sponsor. They allow us to come out and fund us to be able to go to events. Uh, they're in the Woodlands in Houston, Texas. Um, just give them a shout out give them, uh, go out there they're a very nice store very nice people and also big shout out to nick um he kept beating me with Cassiterra and i needed to fix it to where i could really get around to it so i'll show you guys what's up what's the store oh god yes so without further please show us the dino goo oh all right all right all right oh uh, you know we got the three over after uh i prefer to play the three baby Sarasaurus. um the one petite you know, it's a uh, two Animadorn, the one of the man, the myth, the legend, one of uh, Giant Rex. You know, we got the CR Panker Tops, got two. And for the rest of the dinos, we got the two Ultimate Conductor. Would you like to explain the ratios and stuff? Um, honestly, I think this is very good in the build that I am running because I am running the uh, diagram build. And it allows me to extend a lot further, look, uh, get a, a sneak peek at the extra deck, stuff like that. Um, but mainly for the two archosaurs, it allows me to not brick. And essentially, I could just uh, still go into mist, do what I need to do, and keep it pushing. Um, two UCTs, I've tried one, I've tried three. It's just the fact two works best all the time. And Panky Top's at one. If I could play mist at three, you already know what it is. Hey, you gotta hey, you put you on to All right. I told you I was like, look, scoop that up for you guys. I was like, yo, this is the list, because you had it all fucked up um, here, right? Like, for a lot of interruptions, this is my shout out to Nick. Yeah. I had to do the kaijus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to. Doran came through clutch every freaking time. Especially Doran with Lost World, when I didn't have anything else. That's the, that's the sauce right there. And third one's uh, Gamma Gamasil, yeah. It, it, it's honestly just the lowest one that uh, adds to level 8 too, so you already know Cassiterra can't do anything with that. Um, outside of that, it's just a Lithogasm. I only play one because, to be honest, I was playing two and I kept bricking. Uh, I didn't really like it, to be completely honest, so just kept it at one and kept it pushing. Uh, got the Visa Sarfrost. So this is the sauce right here. You normal summon a baby Ceratosaurus, Petite Pterodon, activate effect pop, summon Ovi, just link off, add a UCT, make Baron, make VCT, you're done. Jeez, man. I really. Um, those are outside of that. And I only played one hand trap in the main, is Gamma. Always came through today. Always. Such a beautiful card, did beautiful things. Uh, kept me out of getting my zone flock all the time. And when it happened on my turn, I miscellaneous, uh, they ash, you already know what time it is. Uh, that's it for the monsters. For the spells, it's double Evo pill, three fossil dig. Fossil dig, always clutch. To be honest, I'd take miscellaneous over fossil dig because I've actually played in a whole tournament and didn't need the fossil dig. So it's just, that is what that is on that one. Uh, one of diagram, uh, two lost roads. Anytime I've ever played three Lost Roads, I've always bricked. So it's really just two for me. And Lost Road, honestly, one of the best cards of the deck. Uh, got the couple one ofs, Harpies, Called by the Grave of Terraforming. Um, if you haven't noticed, I am kind of playing a blind second build. And honestly, it works every time. Uh, rest of the spells, little niche spells that you can play, Pot of Prosperity. Uh, thrust, Dark Roller no more. This is a serious spice. Dark Roller. Oh my goodness, you're ready for the Ibli, man. Oh my goodness. It's not even about Ibli. It's literally just set Baby Sarasaurus, activate Dark Hole, full pound bell from there. Like, straight up. And last but not least, we got the evenly matches. Oh, nice. you know, I'm, to be completely honest, I did not resolve this at all today. And I probably tributed uh, with Kaijus more than I resolved evenly match. But I would never cut it for anything. What's the uh, main deck count? Uh, main deck count is 44. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, let's get to the extra deck. For the extra deck, Link Monsters, play Link Rebo, Anima, Gardner, Pentasag, uh, Phoenix, Unicorn, Lambda, Borload, and Axis Code. So, this is, in my opinion, generic. You have to play this because a lot of people played into the Anima and it's beautiful. Uh, Lambda, most of your boards are going to end on Lambda. It's either a bluff or it isn't. Uh, so, you just got to keep it pushing. Uh, the Pentastag is mainly for ending games. And the Nightmares speak for themselves. The Boral Load is probably something that a lot of people question when they play me, but mainly just to take the monster and um, be able to kind of just keep it away from them. Uh, I honestly didn't open, I didn't play this at all today, but when the situation comes up, it always comes out of clutch. Um, next, we got the Synchros. I'm playing Cyframe Omega. Uh, I'm playing the Sword Storm Monster. I'm playing Baron. Uh, I made Baron a lot today, and this is just in that one situation when everything's banished, you gotta do what you gotta do out there. Uh, XYZ's, I play X Ton Knight and Dolka, and of course the big man himself, Zeus. Did you miss Logia at all? Uh, honestly, I don't like playing Logia because it's too many materials just for something that I can play Solomon for. So, to me, that's just how I think about it. Um, for my side deck, the one and only. Oh, I drew this against a Labyrinth player oh, round one. The one copy? The one copy. Oh, I full comboed without a normal summon and just slapped this on the board. He drew his card. Scoop. Like, <laughs> uh, another one of, got the change of heart. Honestly, um, this and the Denko last night were a big change uh, that I had to make because uh, I was playing DPE, but the DPE just had, it just wasn't cutting it. Everything kept getting banished face down, stuff like that, and this is what it is on that one. Um, got the Nibs. The Nibs, honestly, it came clutch uh, round five because he was just going and going, and I just needed to do something. So the Nibs came in clutch. Um, for going first, I typically kind of put in a little Razzle Dazzle. The Solemn Judgments really help a lot, especially when that Book of Eclipse comes down. Round, uh, I think it was round five as well. It came in very clutch against a Book of Eclipse. Um, speaking of Book of Eclipse, <laughs> we got the Book of Eclipse for uh, my own niches. Um, outside of that, it's just the D Barrier, uh, Twin Twister, and a lot of people, they just started picking up on this. I was already playing it. Contact C, yeah, but Contact C definitely gets you out of a lot of bad situations when you don't want them to summon the Rise Heart or uh, just extend even further. Congrats on the retail top, bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Until next time, we're